Hi everyone, my name is Gerardo and I'm here with NVIDIA showing you the latest updates that we have with NVIDIA Studio at CES. As you guys know, NVIDIA Studio is our program to accelerate creator workflows to make creation awesome. And as part of NVIDIA Studio, we're showing here some of the latest news that we have in RTX Studio, laptops and desktops, and some of the accelerations that we have in applications. First up, we have the MSI P65. This beautiful unit from MSI was recently named the Amazon Choice Q for creators. And what we're announcing at CES is that with the purchase of an RTX Studio system starting next Monday, you'll get the Adobe Creative Bundle. You get three months of Adobe Creative Cloud with the purchase of these units. So what we're showing here, for example, is a new functionality from Premiere that allows you to auto-reframe your video. So if you have a normal video and suddenly you crop it, what will happen is that maybe part of the action goes away. So if you want to edit videos and then publish them on Instagram or TikTok, you're losing that part of the action. Thanks to this new feature from Adobe, you can now reframe the video automatically and it's super quick thanks to the GPU. Let me show you. If we go, for example, to our original video, which was widescreen, we just go to auto reframe. We're going to name our, our uh, new sequence. We select 916 and we go for create, analyzes it, and in just one or two seconds, we're done, thanks to the power of the RTX GPUs. Next up, we have this beautiful unit from HP that we're announcing at CES together with them. It's the HP MV All-in-One. It's the first All-in-One that includes an RTX GPU. And this allows you to have a super clean setup for your office. No cables, it has an amazing display with HDR, and it even has a Qi charger for your phone. And it packs up to a 2080 in it. So you're gonna have plenty of power in this very, very clean setup. What we're showing here is some of the latest updates that Resolve has integrated. Resolve is the most popular color grading app for video editing and one of the most popular video editing apps. For example, in this case, we're showing that they have integrated the RED SDK. So it allows us to do RED uh, 8K raw footage and put it directly into Resolve. What we were trying to do in this scene is make a dramatic scene for this fight video. So our friend Keith, who is a Jiu-Jitsu master, uh, has done some, some filming for us and when we slow it down it will look choppy because we, uh, the, we've slowed it down so much that we're duplicating frames. However, with the new function that they've added, which is accelerated on GPU called Speed Warp, we can create new frames and add this new super smooth effect creating slow motion videos. So even if you didn't record in slow motion we can still add an intro like this. In Resolve, another of the features that they've implemented is a face refinement tool. What this does is it will analyze your video and detect the face, and it will do it on every single frame, something that before would have taken many, many hours to do. Now it's just a simple click away. Once you have this, what you can do is do some improvements. For example, let's say that in our scene, we had a bit of eye bags in the scene. We can, for example, very quickly change the eye bags of the, of the subject and determine the, the strength of the eye bag. Um, another thing we can do is do eye retouching. So we can change the eyes, for example, and we can lighten the eye. We can um, do some adjustments to it. And you can see how it goes in and out. Something that before would have taken many, many hours of editing as we go through each frame. And uh, there is one I, I particularly like, which is if you want to make the lips, for example, pop up a bit more, you can add saturation to the lips. So we can add him, for example, some eye, eye, uh, some lip color. Uh, so this is just an example of some of the accelerations that we have in Resolve with GPUs. So a lot of our creators have told us that they also wanted to have a desktop form factor as part of RTX Studio. So we've worked with OEMs to make these beautiful desktops. This is one from ASUS that is very elegant, very small, and very, very quiet. Great for an office, and if you do need to do any shots in the office, it's something that will look great in the background. It has a 2080 Ti and the 99-9900K, so it's going to pack plenty of power. And what we're showing here is an example of how we can use AI to enhance the creative process, in this case of a designer. So this is called NVIDIA Gaugan, and it's one of our new tools that allows uh, designers to be faster and to iterate quicker. So for example, here what we're gonna do is we're gonna be able to paint something very basic, and the AI will generate for us a visualization of what that would look like. So for example, let's go for a mountain. I'm gonna paint a very simple mountain. We're gonna fill them in and we can see how they would look. So we have mountains with clouds. Now let's paint, for example, a bit of sand. We're gonna try to do a nice beach for ourselves. And we're gonna put the sea here. 
and you can see how it visualizes, for example. This is something very useful for someone that's doing storyboarding, that's someone that's thinking, okay, how is my scene going to look like? You can then go and iterate, you can say, I want to add some trees, for example. So we can add a line of trees and see what that effect would, uh, would look like. We can see the trees, for example, and you can even play with the styles that we have here. So we can do it at the sunset, we can do it in the morning, and that way iterate uh, much faster than you would have if you would have had to paint all of these scenes. At the top of our stack in RTX Studio sits the Quadro RTX 5000 for laptops. It's the first time we've put a GPU so powerful on a laptop. And we have a great example here, the Razorblade 15 Studio Edition. What we're showing here, for example, is how it compares to a MacBook Pro 16 fully decked. We're going to show the comparison on Blender, a very popular 3D editing app. And we're going to move both models at the same time. And what you'll see is that thanks to the RT cores in the RTX GPU, we're going to be able to render the, the scene much faster. But on top of that, we also have Tensor cores, which allow us to do an AI denoising pass. This is an update that will be coming to Blender in February. And you can see how on the left, we have a scene that we can work with, completely finished. And on the right, it's still going to take a very long time. You will have to go wait, go out for a coffee, and come back in a bit. Finally, we have a quick glimpse of the future. We have a futuristic unit that we announced at IFA this year, uh, last year that's called the Studio Book One. It's an NVIDIA ACE design that is able to pack an RTX 6000 GPU within a laptop. And we do that thanks to an innovative cooling design that puts all of the components in the back of the, of the laptop in the display and takes air through this side entrance and expels it from the top. Thanks to this, we're able to get the power of a 6000 GPU. This is comparable to a multi-GPU workstation. And what we can do is some very advanced editing with this. In this case, for example, we're using a super complex model that has millions and millions of polygons, and we're moving into our laptop like nothing. This is what we think the future of Laptops for Creators holds, and we're very excited to use some of the innovations that we have in this laptop in the rest of the RTX Studio lineup.